Something a little different here today. This is a digital bugle taps module for honor guards. Um, it typically costs anywhere from $325 to $650, depending on who your retailer is. And I'm looking at the model number. The model number is 101152. This one's black, has a speaker in the front, if you can see the front there. What typically goes wrong with these is the speaker blows out. Um, you can actually verify that by measuring the ohmage on the speaker. The speaker says it four is. Ohms. The speaker says it is four ohms, and this is the remnants of what was left after we removed it from the housing here. Um, what you need to do is you need to get a speaker that's a little more on the wattage. That original speaker, I'm assuming that it's somewhere between three or four watts. If you take a 9 volt battery, a 9 volt battery has roughly 600 milliamps. You do the math on that, you come out with a maximum of 5.8 or 5.6 watts. Um, if you're looking at a fresh, fresh battery, it's going to be over 9 volts. So you're going to be overdriving that little speaker. And that's typically what happens. When people put in new batteries and then they turn that volume dial all the way up to maximum, they pop that little speaker. That speaker cannot handle that wattage. Now, what we did was we went to the junkyard and we got a speaker. Um, I can let you know what, what vehicle the speaker came out of if you... Um, it doesn't look like it's focusing properly. I can let you know what speaker that vehicle came out of. But um, this speaker comes like this. I'll show you. And on the back it has a filter capacitor. Uh, there we go. On the back it has a filter capacitor. Uh, that filter capacitor actually lowers the volume so you want to take that out of the circuit. Uh, here's the original module right here. Disassembled. Now disassembling this original module becomes the problem because it has an upper lip if you can see this upper lip and then underneath it is the actual retainer clip for the speaker the actual this is actually the speaker body here the remnants of it um, this is the magnet over here that was in it so what I used was just a hammer and uh, a flathead screwdriver I, I flipped over the the unit like this I took this off this actually comes out you can just pop this off okay and then I hammered directly down and that popped out the magnet. Once the magnet was out, then I hammered this side and this side of the upper retainer clip, being careful not to try, being careful not to deform the bottom, but hammered the top and that allowed me to gain access to this retainer clip or the remnants of the old speaker that was left in. This new speaker is at least eight watts, if not 15 watts. Um, it is more than capable of handling uh, anything this, um, the trumpet unit can throw at it we've already tested it it works beautifully if you contact the company and you want it repaired they're gonna charge you anywhere from $65 just to look at it to $125 to do a repair but they're gonna put the exact same speaker in it just prone to the same problem so if you're mechanically inclined or if you can do this yourself this speaker shouldn't cost you more than about two bucks really that's if you get it at a junkyard if you probably buy it from um, from the manufacturer new it's probably going to be somewhere around fifteen dollars for this little speaker. All right. Um, once you once you get that speaker, get the old remnants out. You're left with this, and you can take the original wiring and pop it in, and this fits directly in. It's a direct replacement fit. I'm going to glue it down with this E E6000 glue, and right around the outside, I'm going to put that around the outside the way that the old one had uh, RTV around the outside to secure it to keep it from uh, vibrating inside of the fitting too much. Once that's done, it's going to be a direct um, a direct replacement. It, these, these ends are soldered, so that's beautiful. And then once that's set, I'm going to go ahead and put the cone back on the front. The new cone is actually a, a it's not a metallic cone like the original one. The new cone is a, um, it's a fabric cone and it maintains its shape, unlike the original one that, um, that, that doesn't maintain its shape. So if you get a dent in it, then it, then it, it becomes un, um, unsightly. All right, so that's the whole deal. Uh, all we have to do is just put it back together. Disassembling it is simply four screws to get the to get this casing off. It's four screws, nothing major to do that. And then the speaker comes right out. 
Then there's four screws on the main board. Four screws on the main board. Oh, there's actually three screws. There's one here, one here, yeah. and there's a screw down here. You have to act, actually have to remove a little a sticker down here at the bottom. I, I'm going to move my hand. You, you have to actually remove a sticker down here at the bottom to get to that last screw. But this screw, And then once you do that, you pop up the board, and you can take a loose the connector for the speaker. And this is the connector for the speaker. It's real simple. Uh, it just takes a little time to get it all set. Once, once this is all back in the housing and glued, I'm going to give it about you know, an hour or two for the glue to set. Then it goes back into this clip. This is the clip. So you, when you're working on it, you have to take it out of that the outer ring clip. And then once that's done, it goes all back in there with a dampening uh, rubber fitting. Retainer, yeah. Yeah, to get everything back in there. So that's it. I hope I helped somebody. Uh, if you need to know what that speaker is, just go ahead and send me a, a little message there. And I'll let you know what that speaker is. It's really simple, very popular, easily available speaker. If you go to the junkyard, our junkyard charges two dollars to get in, and for the little parts like this, they just let you be, they just let you walk out with them. They don't charge you for these little things. But if you ordered it from the manufacturer, I imagine the manufacturer, the auto manufacturer, will charge you somewhere between fifteen or twenty bucks for it. So, all right, uh, that is it. Uh, once again, the TDI love from Chicago. And this is a little different, but I know it, it's um, it's something I've seen a lot of. And uh, you know, when you when you when you're out there, you you're trying to take care of our veterans, and you're you're you you're trying to play taps, and the horn doesn't work, and somebody there who doesn't know how to play the horn, it, it becomes very disrespectful. So make sure you maintain your equipment and take care of our troops. Take care. Bye bye.